so after creating the user now we're going to work on email verification so as you see right here when you create a user it's going to have this property verified which is going to be false in the beginning so we're going to send an email to the to the user and then he, he open a link and then we using the link we're going to verify the account and make it true the way we do it is we have this id of user so we're going to encrypt it and secure it in a json web token we're going to talk about it a little bit so it's going to be like a string that is secured and then we're going to send this in the email and the and the user open that in the browser in our application and we're going to take that and then decode it to get the id and then we go to the, to the database and search for the id and make it verified too so it's quite simple and all starts with the json web tokens so now if we go to the browser to the GWT official website we're going to find json web tokens and an open industry standard rfc 7519 method for representing claims securely between two parties so we're going to have informations we're going to take it and secure it with the GWT we're going to use a code for it you know as key you can use your own password and then we're going to use the same key to decode it and retrieve the informations from the GWT and one of the cool thing about the GWT that you have like a property which is called expires in and then you're going to define like a lifeline for the token so example 30 minutes and after the 30 minutes you can you know retrieve the information from the GWT which is you know very usable for, for like the aim of verification we can allow it like you can decide like for a half you know <laughs> half an hour or like an hour or two it depends in you know on your situation okay and you can like have an encoded token right here and then decode it and retrieve the informations right here and see it here okay so simply first of all let's start let's go and let's open a new terminal let's go to the back end and then install it so npmi json web token okay and then we're gonna wait till it installs now done we're gonna go to the helpers and we're gonna create a new file let's call it tokens .gs and here we can create our functions so let's require it first const gwt equal require the json web token and here you can use like two ways so we're gonna have a mini token so we're gonna have one for the email verification we're also one for the receipt code and also for the login so you can create one function and then you know change the key for them you know depending on what you want or just have one function and every you know can pass like the properties to it so you can do whatever i'm going to do one function and you can do like separately and everyone have has its own code but let's do it my way so we're gonna go. so exports let's call it generate token and we're gonna pass the info so we call it payload okay whatever you want and then right here we're gonna have the expired value which is gonna be the property expired then okay we're gonna see right here so first of all let's add equal right here this is an R function okay and right here we're going to return and then we're going to go to the gwt function and we create a json web token simply by using sign and we pass here the infos or the payload the information they want to encode and right here we'll pass the key so you can go to the dot amv file and create another you know variable let's call it token secret okay and right here you can write any password you want or you can go to the browser simply go and look for generates you know strong key strong password this type of websites that give you like a string you know as a strong key so you can use it okay and just copy one of them and just paste it right here and we're going to take this value we'll go back to the tokens and go process dot env and use this okay and now we're going to have the expires in value or the property and we're going to pass the expired okay and simply now we finish you go back to the to the, to the controllers let's go back down 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 and after saving here let's have a value a variable let's call it email verification token okay and we're gonna call the function generate token we're gonna import it and then we're gonna pass an object we're only gonna pass the id of the user this id okay as you see right here objects id and it's an objects id so you want to convert it to string so we're gonna go to the id and we're gonna the value is gonna be the user that we created dot underscore id dot to string okay and the second value is going to be how long one it's last for example 30 minutes okay and after this we're going to simply console log the value to see how it is how it looks okay so simply just go back right here and then we're going to send again i've used this email before so let's change it and send again okay and now we've created the user and let's go back right here and we get this string right here console log right here okay so we're going to take that go back to the to the json web token website 
take this and paste it right here and as you see this is the informations after decoding it which is this one this is the uh, the id so let's compare it with the id that we created so let's go back to postman and let's see if it, it is the same okay so we have 172 in the end so this is the id of the user which is 172 in the end so it's the same so this way we take we took our user id after creating it and secured it in a gwt token and we're going to use this to send this in a link you know to the user so we're going to do something very very important and now set up our environment for the ability to send email so now a very important and quite a tricky part is going to start so focus with me so we can do this